After this first impression, I want to show you some details of the cocktail machine right here on the prototype. And in the end I want to show you a test run of the cocktail machine with a volume of 200 milliliters and 4 ingredients for the cocktail. The most important part of the cocktail machine are the peristaltic pumps. All in all I've built in 10 pumps. 8 of the smaller ones you can see here right in the front, 4 of. 2 of the bigger pumps here on the back side which can transfer liquid up to 500 milliliters a minute. And on the other side we have the last four of these small pumps which can transfer liquids up to 60 milliliters a minute. The silicon tubes are running right through the peristaltic pumps. On the smaller ones we have four by two tubes and they are going into the machine right here on top of the peristaltic pumps. To suck out the liquid of the bottles we simply insert the silicon tubes into the bottles. Though we don't need to refill some other bottles or something like this, it's very practical. On the bigger pumps we also need bigger silicon tubes. Though the outer diameter is 10mm and the inner diameter is around 7 to 8mm, you can see right here. The bigger silicon tubes also need a bigger radiant, so we insert them into the machine right on top. On the nozzle we combine all silicon tubes, so we have the 8 smaller one in the front and in the back, each 4 and the 2 bigger ones in the middle. As mentioned in the previous video, I use the RAMS display unit to control the whole cocktail machine which is connected to the Arduino Mega. And to handle all the current which is needed by the peristaltic pumps we need relay boards. Here we have the 2 channel board and here the 8 channel board right in the background behind the cables. Here you can see the Arduino Mega, the heart of the machine which is broken right through the back port of the cocktail machine, you can see here. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will show you how to make a cocktail with the machine from a cold start. The cocktail has four ingredients. I adjust the volume in the menu to 200 milliliters and the largest part of liquor in the cocktail is 60 milliliters, uh, which is transferred by a small pump, so the pump is running for a minute. And the whole cocktail is also ready after a minute, which is acceptable for a cocktail, I think. The final result seems to be pretty good and accurate and that's a good point. For the next video my plan is to show you the code behind the cocktail machine and also the menu, how it's built up and how it is used and how you can configure your cocktails by yourself and choose your favorite cocktails to make. Until this, I thank you for watching and wish you a very nice day.